Joining me now is Jay Woods, Chief Global Strategist at Freedom Capital Markets. Good morning, Jay. What a great day. Good morning. Yeah, exciting, exciting day. Great bell. It's always fun to be down here for events like this. No, for sure. And you know, we actually have breaking news coming on the air. We had all the inflation data that came out. What do we got? Yeah, we came in a little higher, uh, hotter in the CPI. That's three months in a row where that inflationary number is ticked up. And the whole point of getting ready for rate cuts was to see these numbers cool. And uh, that is the one thing that's rattling markets a little bit. I like to put things in perspective. Uh, right now, what we're having is a minor correction in the market. We uh, have gone up two quarters in a row of over 10%. We're pulling back. We get three 5% corrections on average a year, and we're down about 3% from the high once we get this opening. And when the dust settles, we may be down a little bit lower. But uh, that number got a little people off guard and has people just moving to the sidelines this morning. Were you anticipating this or no? No, well, I was hoping things would come in line or cool and uh, then we could talk about rate cuts. But right now, uh, the market wasn't anticipating it. Uh, the market has been kind of quiet the last two days waiting for this number. And as it came in slightly hotter, uh, we're getting a knee-jerk reaction to the downside, the Dow being down 400. Uh, the small caps are getting hit the hardest. Small caps are more uh, you know, adverse to inflation being higher for longer. And that's what we're going through right now. I think we're normalizing it. We're still trading just off all-time highs, but uh, this number was not what the Fed wanted to see for you know a branch that takes it one data point at a time. This is a data point they wanted to see go lower, not higher. So the talk of rate cuts is probably going to subside for a little while longer. I mean, that seems to be the go, the ongoing trend, right? Uh, what should investors look out for today and for the rest of the week? Well, I, investors shouldn't worry about the day-to-day -day minutia that goes on. Uh, you know, if, if you were playing to trade to, you know, think that we were going to cut three times maybe more this year I, I don't think that's in the cards but what has happened is we've been adjusting this higher for longer the rally that was so strong the end of the quarter last year the beginning of this year it's going to slow and these are normal processes it's just how we digest it what we need to focus on earnings season it kicks off on Friday with the financials and kicks into high gear next year I think when you look at the individual companies and how those start to break down that'll be the real story but for now the macro story uh, it gave us a little bump in the road and uh, the smooth sailing up is going to go on a little bit of a pause for the next week or so until those earnings kick in. And speaking of things to look out for, we have wholesale inflation data, which is coming out tomorrow. What should investors be on the lookout for? Yeah, well, usually that follows right in line with the, uh, the, the PPI follows right in line with the CPI. So I would hope that it comes in line with analyst expectations. But if that's slightly hotter, that wouldn't be surprising at this point. I don't think it's going to move the needle of the CPI. This number does move the needle a lot more. And then watch jobless claims. Uh, you know, the economy, the unemployment numbers, they have been so stable and historically low for a long time. Uh, not that you root for those numbers to go up, but economists want to see those numbers tick up because if they don't, then we're not going to talk about cuts in three or four months. They may talk about maybe we need another hike. I don't think we're there yet, but that's how they're going to play it out. So we're talking about inflation. We're on the lookout for earnings. We have a lot of things to look out for, but what do you think are the major storylines that we should keep an eye on? What are the biggest trends that yeah. we should be on our radar. Well, right now the biggest trends are what we talked about, unfortunately. Uh, you know, we, we did have a nice uh, run in the IPOs. We have some IPOs coming to market. Uh, I still think it is a good time for companies looking to take that plunge, to make that plunge. We are just off all-time highs. Rates are stable, uh, but right now it, it's going to be all about earnings season. So the next few times we talk, we're going to be you know, seeing crowds of people in different stocks around us as they run into those stocks for the opening during earnings season. Amazing. And, you know, we're getting images right now of I, all the executive team and members of family right now getting pictures. I just want to take a look right here. Todd, can we go and see how cute these kids are at the Distinguished Guest Book podium taking photos, utilizing every opportunity to capture this milestone moment again right in front of CNBC set um, but anyway I just had to get those shots I thought it was so cute. that's what it's all about it's, it's about the company it. today and uh, you know the news today we're gonna get a CPI number <laughs> another month and yeah. another month and we'll talk about it but uh, you know being here we, we want to focus on the long term and when we can celebrate great companies like this today yeah. with, with their whole family and team yeah. that's what this is all about that's what it's all about well thank you so much Jay for joining me today and I'll, I'll catch up with you later all right look forward to it thank you